So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. We have already started here. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. That's a fine save. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. And here's Benzema. Messi and the Herrera and here's Draxler and the shot it's broken loose and here's Draxler Bit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, uh, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Decent looking ball. And out to safety. Alaba goes looking. Real Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's real chance. Oh, that is very close. Modric almost put a side ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. And it's Neymar. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. And here's Azar. Gets the better of his man. Well, what's he giving here? Paris Saint-Germain could not have chosen a worse moment. Well, it's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Dispatched with certainty. Well, that's the way to take the penalty. Stand up, pick your spot, blast it home. Real Madrid have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. It's come loose. Forward it goes. Now the counter. Marquinhos. Kimpembe. Neymar. Paris Saint-Germain are behind here despite their domination of possession. Turns and goes back. And the Herrera hits one! And the ball's come out. Now they can break here. Now it's Messi. 
dashing forward at pace. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Tries a shot! Oh, taken with style! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Benzema at his razor-sharp best there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top-notch. Real Madrid have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Shot a goal! That's a half-decent try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. That's not going to make it. Marcelo gets wrestled off the ball. Hakimi with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Dora Roma claims it. Hakimi. Messi. Kimpembe. Neymar, chance to break, Valverde drives it forward, Sergio Ramos, Messi, Neymar, gets good distance on it, Messi, appearance and very necessary. Benzema takes control of it and he's on the move. And it's Azza. And here's Modric. He spotted the run and played it through. Oh, shooting chance! Well, he couldn't get hold of it. It's found its way to him. And he's supposed to get himself offside. Idrissa Gay tries to get it forward quickly. He's found his man. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Mbappe has a shot! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Again, Modric, good challenge, he just stood firm. Draxler, that's gone a long way up and away. Oh, super tackle, they were outnumbered and under the cosh, that had to be spot on and it was. Hoists it forward. Vinicius Junior. Goes for goal! Oh, that's a waste. Real Madrid were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. And it's played forward. 
And it's Draxler. Mbappe. Now it's Messi. He gets past his man. Vinicius Junior. That's all. Mbappe. He's through. Room for a shot. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. He's looked long this time. Kimpembe plays it forward. Mbappe plays it out to the flank. Now it's Draxler. Mbappe, chance! Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so... Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So a really good half of football. Three goals, and just one separating them. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Paris Saint-Germain are in desperate need of some character and inspiration, and they need it now. The whistle goes, we're off and running. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Neymar. Wijnaldum. Hakimi. Right through the middle. Surely a shot. And the finish! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Oh, his instinct was brilliant, but not the finish. To the keeper, and go again. Sergio Ramos. Di Maria. And it's Wijnaldum. Modric. Modric drives it forward. They get a throw in. with the short one played into the middle and through to the goalkeeper Neymar Mbappe it's got through to him Mbappe that's a foul simple decision for the referee yeah uh, he may feign to shoot and just play it into the box Ball. Has a hit! He scored! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, oh, you've got him, no, oh, you don't. Brilliant. is two. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. 
some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. It's Marcelo. Lovely bit of skill. And here's he's had a goal! And more and more and more! <laughs> Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Real Madrid grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Messi. Mbappe. Neymar. It's final dumb! Marcelo goes upfield. Breaks on here. Vinicius Junior. He's just the keeper to goes for goal. And it's played forward. Mbappe. Good ball. It's a fabulous position. Well read, he sorted that out. Vinicius Junior finds himself eased off the ball. Marquinhos very firm in standing his ground. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Marquinhos. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he wants. Mbappe. Timely intervention. Away from immediate danger. Marcelo. Alaba. Hoists it forward. Chip through. Hazard provides an outlet. Marcelo tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Oh, he's in, tries a shot! Given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. <laughs> Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Alaba with the crossfield ball. And back to base. Well played, he saw that coming. Di Maria. Mbappe. Mbappe. Chance! Chance! Cole at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. And he heaves it forward. It's Di Maria. Berati gets it back. Fine, Alden. 
And here's Neymar. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Vinicius Junior. Now it's Benzema. Vinicius Junior. Marco Verratti just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. Now it's Neymar. Mbappe. Here's the through ball. Messi. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock-solid. He's got through. Sergio Ramos. And now they can launch a counter. Has he picked him out? Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Mbappe showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Vinicius Junior going through. He's gone for it. Oh, nearly, nearly is nothing. He's played it short. Di Maria sticks in a foot to win it back. Paris Saint-Germain have it back and they can go again. And it's Neymar. He's got away. Mbappe hits one! Fine Aldon chooses to go back. Forward it goes. The final whistle and the end. Paris Saint-Germain fall at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far.